Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you around the latest conversion to come out of the factory. Uh, this is based on a medium wheelbase, Peugeot Boxer. I'm going to do a tour on the outside first. Uh, so obviously as you see we've got the sides, double glazed windows, they've got built-in blinds and fly screens. Uh, we've got a, a full length awning on top there. And just behind at the back you see the TV aerial. Uh, another sights window on the back door. That's in the kitchen area at the back. And then down this side we've got more windows, uh, we've got the fridge vents, uh, we've got the two forty mains hook up which is plugged in as you can see, uh, the water filler, and then we've got the uh, the fresh and waste drain off taps there for the water tanks which uh, are mounted underneath. Uh, we've also got the uh, the Truma uh, exhaust there for the heater. Let's have a look in the inside. Now this vehicle was built specifically for the customer, it was their own layout, what they wanted. They'd had a, a conversion done off us a few years ago and come back and had another one. So you see you met with the living area straight away. Um, now this makes up a double bed. Uh, this seat here pulls forward and the, the backrest falls in there. And again, this pulls across and the backrest falls in and that makes uh, a double bed. Uh, you've not got two singles on this one um, but with what we wanted, well what they needed in the back uh, we couldn't get the singles in so we've had to do the, uh, the six foot one uh, across the vehicle and I think it's 52, 53 inches I think width wise so it's a decent sized double bed. Um, I've made here um, it's it, this we normally do this kind of setup with the the extra step here for when they have swivel seats we haven't got swivel seats on this at the moment they're going to have that done at a later date as they're going to have the cab seats upholstered at a later date as well um, but we have made provisions for this when it is done afterwards that they can use it with the table as well as you can see so stepping inside in the cab area we've got the uh, the curtains going around the front on this one which we've done before uh, we've got the sergeant unit which we use on all our conversions now and then straight off we've got some more storage you can't see in there very well but we've got storage over the cab there and then immediately at the side of that we've got three locker doors with a big top locker there um, obviously bed I'll show you under there in a second with the heater and the battery and the electrics and everything um, directly over the, uh, the forward facing seat here uh, we've got a bit of storage up here a bit of a shelf we pull this down we've got the television uh, now that's on a, on a double arm uh, bracket so that can swing straight out and, and face these seats or the cab seats uh, so they've got plenty of viewing angles on that side of it on this one as well we've utilized um, the light uh, the courtesy lights that are normally in the back of these vehicles they wanted an extra courtesy light so we put that one up top there so they've got light as soon as they jump in um, we've got a midi hickey nice big roof vent there that's got uh, uh, blinds and fly nets in it as as have the uh, the windows as well We've got the curtains just in the side here. Um, this one's fitted with an inverter as well, and this is the external uh, inverter switch. Uh, that's the new iNet uh, controls for the Truma, and we've got the uh, the temperature gauge there as well. All lights that we fit uh, are LED uh, in the roof as well. Uh, customers supplied their own microwave to us to be fitted, and um, we've also supplied us with an extractor as well which is all ventilated as well we've got a vent on top of there that's nicely ventilated uh, up the top uh, and then obviously going backwards here we've got the kitchen um, now remember this is a, a medium wheelbase and we managed to get a, a full cooker in fridge and sink and drainer as well as as well as plenty of storage as well um, so I'll just go through this three burner there I've got the grill and all underneath Got plenty of storage underneath that. 60 litre fridge, and it's a three way fridge as well, so gas, mains, electric, and 12 volt for when you're travelling. Got some more storage under that. And we've got the uh, sink and drainer window at the back, window at the side, so there's plenty of light in here. Some more LED lights underneath, and again, more locker space at the back, so plenty of storage. We've got a flap there, more storage under the sink, and then we've got a big cutler tray drawer with room for the extra B 
big utensils that you need in your kitchen. So coming on the other side facing we've got uh, four big deep drawers here so plenty of storage again. This one is the uh, the wardrobe you can see and then behind that we have the toilet and shower compartment. So we've got the C200 toilet, the moulded shower tray, and we've got the tip-up sink and the vanity unit as well. Shower curtain goes obviously over the, the door opening, cord hooks, again LED lights, and we've got the roof vent in there as well. Um, I don't know if you can see it very clearly on this with the camera, but if you notice we've, we've no um, uh, wheel arch part, what we do, we, we curve over it and it's created a really nice shape. I've done this a couple of times now and um, some of the customers really loved it so we, we've had to duplicate this one and that one again and it's turned out really nice we've got a mirror at the back there now I'll go out the, uh, the back doors and show you at the back the lining that we use as well um, I don't think I mentioned this before but it's uh, it's a leather, leather, leatherette, um, and it's really good if you know if you come for if you get any uh, stains on or anything like that. You can easily wipe it down. It's not like carpet. Um, it is really, really easy to wipe down and keep clean. So at the back there, we've got the uh, the table, table storage at the back, and at the bottom here, your exit for your toilet. Got another socket down at the bottom there, which was requested by the customer. And this is the uh, the gas compartment. Just fully sealed, uh, trimmer regulators and all. There's two uh, little two seven kilogram bottles as well. Um, we've got. I'll show you under the beds now. Actually, just to remove the cushions. We've got the uh, the cushions removed. Again, we've got plenty of storage under this forward facing seat. Uh, probably good enough to to hold your bed in and things like that. Uh, under this side, as you can see, it's pretty well packed in. Um, with the amount of things that we had to put in, obviously we've got the, the combi Truma uh, boiler which was the uh, blown air eating and uh, the hot water and it's a 6 kilowatt one as well so it's really good on that side of things. As you can see the water pump at the back, the sergeant system there. This little box here, that's the uh, the changeover switch um, so they can either run uh, the sockets that are in the vehicle, either it be on uh, mains hookup or when they decide to use their inverter if they're while camping they can use the same socket so it's just a case of flicking the switch and the sockets are powered by either the mains hookup or, or the uh, the inverter. Uh, this box here, uh, this is a unique uh, battery box, it's got some gel batteries um, which needed uh, storing and obviously what we had, I had to improvise a little bit um, and get a sealed unit there uh, for his batteries um, but yeah, I think that's it. Uh, if you've got any questions, don't hesitate to ask. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, again, if you've got uh, your own vehicle, you're looking to have it converted. Uh, you want to give us a, if you want, you'd like a quote off us, and we'll uh, we can we can sort that out for you. Um, like I say, all our designs are bespoke. We tailor everyone that we do to the customer's own needs. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching, and uh, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much.